so far above you, they be thinking I have gepo. They won't hear the screams you make, they only hear the echo. Pull the three plays, outcast life, yeah, you know I get paid. Best in the world, it ain't close, no way. Grind so hard, haven't slept in three days. Who okay, cares? I might pull the three plays. Crew pulling up, don't give, we take. Right around the city, you loot, we spray. All around the world, people know my name. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and super hot and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Today is the second part of my One Piece Zoro two sword style inspired combination. And that is a lot of words, but this is the second episode in, so it's too late now. But since we're gonna be using two swords, just wanna make sure you know this is going to be dangerous if you use real swords. So obviously don't use real swords, use tricking swords. A tricking sword is an aluminum dull sword light and mint for tricks that don't actually you know hurt you if you get cut you can check it out in the link down below and use my code ninja 10 at checkout to get 10 percent off whatever sword you like i mean there's other weapons too but we're talking about swords right now and of course you could just use a pvc pipe or stick or whatever else you want to use to practice this if you don't want to buy a sword right now but without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so we last finished off catching right here, just like so. So we're gonna start off with a spin, but I'm gonna show you what your hands do first. Your left hand goes first, coming around your head and under your armpit, just like so. Your right hand comes around your head and strikes straight across. And your legs are just gonna simply spin landing in a stance towards your first strike. So when you get it all together, your left hand goes first, around, and strike. Going a little bit faster, bang, just like so. Now here's a trick that's a little bit challenging to get. It requires a lot of circles, and so you may need to take a second to wrap your brain around it. It's okay, make sure you go slow at first until you start to understand how the trick works. So starting with your left hand, you're gonna unwind your, your hand until you are perfectly straight here with both swords facing opposite directions. And then your swords are gonna match each other, making this circle all the way around until your elbows connect. So one more time, out, circle, elbows connect now here's where we get into the toss the toss is pretty simple it's just a basic forward toss like we've done already it's actually going to be modified though it's instead of going directly in front of you you're going to turn your sword sideways and toss it just like that it's going to spin a lot like a propeller plane in front of you and less like a a buzzsaw going forward and for how you catch it once you let go you're going to keep your palm up and let the sword fall in your hand upside down basically what that means is if you were to hold your hand straight the blade would be down and the handle would be up and just the toss by itself looks like that now just the one you really want to try to avoid tossing it super high up there because it can work but it's a lot harder to control especially when you're a beginner so try and keep it nice and low at first so all you need to do is add that in with your hands start circling toss and catch now to add that special modern ninja flair whenever you toss it you actually want to try and toss it away so that you have to reach out to catch it and honestly i think that just gives it a little bit of spice and showcases the next move a little bit better so the way to practice that is to just get used to tossing it farther and farther until you can comfortably toss it fairly far and catch it every time. And then you add in both hands so that you can comfortably and reliably catch that sword. Like I said in the previous video, practicing on grass is important because it keeps your sword from breaking and it keeps you from damaging your floor if you were on tile or wood or anything like that. So practice outside practice on ground practice in the grass and soft dirt it will save you so much money once you have caught your sword you're just gonna finish with a strike and all that is is you're gonna be in a stance towards your catch you're gonna switch stances and stab down and pull back and switch stances one more time so it's a 
one, two motion. Doing that motion really exaggerates the stab and gives you a break and a chance to kind of catch your breath on your combination when you're doing the whole thing from the beginning to the end. And trust me, it's much needed. So with this segment of the combination all together, you're coming around, strike across, circle, catch, stab, pull out. And there we have it. We have the second part of our five part tutorial. So if you're excited to learn the rest of this combination, well, I'm excited to teach it to you. I hope you're enjoying. Make sure you subscribe, drop a like, and hit the notification so you don't miss when I post the next episode next week. So definitely stay tuned for that. And of course, if you're wanting a hat just like this, because I know a lot of One Piece fans may be seeing this, I got you. Don't you worry. Uh, that link along with the link for the swords will be down in the description below. You're welcome. And until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja. And I'm out.